Hello folks, we're going to talk about mountain climbing and hiking. The ultimate journey, you're not seeing too much here, let me show you the side of it. Ryback, Eric Ryback. And the story behind the story is this fellow who was 20 at the time of this book wrote a book previously about hiking PCT trail. They say he hitchhiked part of the way. Uh, I don't know that for certain. This goes back more than 40 years. In this book, he went up and down the Continental Divide, Canada, Mexico. He admits getting a couple of short rides, like from Indians for 20 miles off, not 25 miles off the reservation, uh, 20 miles through the end of a desert. Um, don't know how much is accurate. I'm familiar with that name, Ryback. It may have been discussed at the time this book came out. This is the second of his two known books at least that I know about. So the first one is in some uh, disrepute. Uh, I keep getting stupid crap coming up. Thanks Microsoft. I think Microsoft made, besides my car, did stuff on the Dollar Journal and somewhere else. Oh, uh, you things don't work right on their windows. What do you expect? Um, I enjoyed this book. I took the price tag off. I got it just recently. I, pay, I won't even tell you how much. I pay very little. Uh, it's a used book in decent shape. I'm thinking I read the first book, and or was familiar with him. At age 15 I did a bunch of hiking. And this is the time the second book came out. There may have been this discussions with someone, the infamous Fred, and others. I still get these stupid things coming up here on the screen five minutes after I turned it on. Uh, there may have been discussions about he fell into disrepute. Uh, it, it's not clear that he lied in the first book, but a lawsuit was withdrawn and I read that there was evidence that he was hitchhiking. In this one, again, I said he admitted a couple of times getting sure car rides. So I enjoyed the book, though. That wasn't the point of the book to me. Uh, the point of the book I got was his brother started with him, who was two years younger, so they were 20 and 18. But the 20-year-old had extensive uh, uh, hiking experience. The, the, old, the uh, younger boy was taller. He was like my height, around 6'1". Uh, they are both in good shape, folks. There's no doubt about it, but the younger one was really run ragged. I think a point I took out of the story was he didn't treat his brother too well. I think what really did his brother in to quit halfway. So his brother went halfway. Well, if you call that quitting, I don't know, it was 1,500 miles halfway. I'm not sure now the numbers, but this was, it was four and a half months or more total. Well, four and a half months times about 27 miles a day. You can do the math. That's even, that's even more than I thought. 150 times 27. Well, that can't be right. But I don't think I'm going to redo this uh, because YouTube says it's not the views anymore after I got to 10,000 views. They said it's time watching. So it's, it's really annoying when you accomplish something and then they take it away. But the point was, I got out, the main thing was, they did night hiking. Yes, there was a full moon. If you're hiking at night, though, it's got to be more tense than in the daylight. I mean, the shadows, the, you go through darker areas can't see as well. I don't know if it was just a couple of days, but it it really 
ran the brother to exhaustion. It, it ran this main character, Eric, to exhaustion. But the brother was just got emaciated and run down and almost was like an automaton. So that was the thing I took not treating your uh, people with you right, although it was one person. Um, you may have saved the guy's life the way you read about it, the younger one. You may have saved the older one back on some, like some ice floes or what have you, way up north towards the Canadian border when they started. Um, again, I have to question exactly how much literary license was taken because of all the background, the story behind the story. Uh, the, the time again is 1972 and published in 73. And let me show this again. You can see all the points. This is the Continental Divide. You supposedly went all along it from Canada to Mexico in, in less than five months. Uh, with his brother with him half, half the time, the, the tougher half. Oh, the second half was, listen, you can, you can always die when you're on a mound. You can slip like the ridge of the Caps Trails up in New Hampshire going up to Mount Washington. But they went through a desert area. That was really touch and go. Uh, and if it was exactly accurate, again, I'm not sure, but I did enjoy it. Certainly was still be worth a couple of bucks to get a used copy. Um, it seems to me I read the first one and enjoyed it. But we're talking, uh, let's see, he was 17 or so, he was 69, I guess it came out in 70. So 45 years ago, or 40 odd years ago, if I had read the other one. Forgive me if I don't really remember it. 40 years is a long time. And I don't see much of anything about relevant to this currently other than uh, the question on what happened in the first book. And I'm getting long-winded. I could redo this. I don't think I will because I don't know how many people watch five minutes, which is I start trying to not do as well. But it's seven and a half minutes and I'm going to say uh, I, I did enjoy hiking when I was young. I, I walk now but I can walk a mile or two a day, but walking three miles in a row, there's a ghost in the creek. Walking three miles in a row without, you know, stopping back in my house is, it actually takes a lot out of my old legs, knees, feet, you know how it is. Uh, be careful out there, folks.